Hello guys, it's James Boy here and this is going to be a new let's play on the Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. Let's start. Uh, aye. Okay. Uh, dot dot. Sorry if it's a bit focused thing. Where, where am I? Dot. Is this a dream? Am I dreaming? <laughs> I hate reading this out loud. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Ah, see, good choice of words then. Uh, yeah. Mm. Okay, so someone's calling for you and you hear a voice, and basically they're asking you to help them. I love how like dramatic the music gets there. Oh. No, no. Uh, okay. Hi Dragon, or Hi Dragon, or whatever it is. Okay, so... Okay, so... Right, okay, so... This is where I think you can choose whatever Pokemon you go as your kind of starter thing, so... No, no, I don't want to pick Pikachu. Uh, actually, I probably might just pick Pikachu. There's Thundershock, and uh, I'm gonna pick the Pikachu. Well, like, the jokes. Right, uh, What the hell is that? Ah, sorry for the kind of jitteriness here. Yeah. Right, so. Okay, so what's that light? Like? Okay, so I think this is where we get into the actual Pokemon world. Oh, Pokemon world. Come on. Okay. Awesome. Skydiving Pikachu. Awesome. Lots cannot describe the weirdness of this opening. Good not then. Look. Uh, two seconds, I'm fix this. No, it doesn't look right. Okay, so... Come on, focus. There we go. Okay, so... The focus on this isn't very good. Okay, that just makes it worse. Okay, so... That chirping's doing my nothing. Okay, so this is where we can choose what our partner is, and for some reason I think I'm going to go for Axia, because you might be overpowered, I don't know. Might as well see. Okay, so... I know I'm going to call him now. Okay, so... Okay, so come on. This is a very word, like text based game. And it's a pain. Honestly. But all you do is mash A for like a good half hour of this game. Right. Probably about how I fell out of the sky. Anyone getting flashbacks to that movie? Oh. Uh, I don't even know what that is called now. Is it when the sky was falling or something like that? I don't know. Um, we'll name him Key. Don't ask me why, it's just that uh, Rice Pirate video makes me want to name him that. Okay, so. Um, okay, so. Let's continue. Come on. And then. Text in this man. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, the only reason I'm uploading this thing out is because uh, my screen recorder for my PC right now is not for working. Uh, it doesn't want to record whilst me playing on my, my my emulator, and also I just think it's struggling to upload stuff. 
at the moment, so I'm gonna upload this. Cause, uh, I don't know. Gonna get a try anyway. Okay, so okay, that's kind of you've got to have pretty good trust there to believe someone like that. I don't know, trust the right word. I don't know. Okay, so come on. Okay. So basically, he's telling us that everything in the state of mystery and. You should really believe someone because all the other things could be true, all the things could be false, but it makes me go, go in blind or whatever. It's got an open mind, basically. Right. Important meeting. Oh, right, yeah, I remember this bit now. Okay, we'll go. Basically, that's just to help him go through this dungeon as it is. So let's continue. Oh now he's pushing me. He's a nice guy isn't he? Right. Ragged Mountain. Oh this bit's amazing. I remember this. This is by far one of the best uh, previous BDS game when it first came out. I think it was 2012 or it was the same year as X and Y, no, no, X and Y, same year as uh, Black and White 2, if I'm not insane. That's what I can remember anyway. Okay, so. Okay. Although, thing about it now, I think Black and White 2 was like a few months before that, so, I don't know. This is the one thing that this game was pretty good for was the way it worked with its dungeons. It was you could go through the window and commit another and you'd have to do something I don't know, I'll, I'll explain it further through this. But we'll go through there and end up going above it and I have to do something in a similar area like this. Oh. Damn. Right, so let's go. What if I'm not even able to move yet? The only reason I'm hitting this is because I can get XP from it and XP is pretty good, good in this game. Yeah. 
you hit him, you, you go, go for the other. Right. Yay! And the other come on. I don't really know much of Gen 5, I know most of Gen, like the first three, and some of the fourth Gen. This game's mostly fifth Gen Pokemon, which is, which is not a bad idea. So I think this was to mark it X and Y, the black and white too, which is, I know, it's a good idea to fix it, and good advertising kind of thing. And that goes vice versa for the two games. Those two games could have been marked in this, or as I said, vice versa. It was a good game, huh? and I, I played this once fully, and then once half, and kind of just kind of forgot about it. So this is me starting the game. Oh, I know some of the stuff in it. The story is pretty good in it. Pretty decent, but it does get really really long with the takes. That's our first dungeon done. Uh, do save. I'll fix that later. Oh, come on. <laughs> right, okay, so we go help him with this important meeting. I think it's just so, I, I, I don't know, I think this is just for, uh, I think him buying, buying this area, if I'm right to saying. I think I am, but do I just assume? Right, so, I'm just going to hold B, so I think B does it quicker, there we go. Sorry. Okay, so. Right. Okay. I mean, like, that was all for just that one bit to come up there. Since, since this is a bit of a bit here, the channel, this channel right now for YouTube, it's going to kind of change every so, it's going to change for a bit here. Uh, two of my close friends are planning on uploading stuff from the PS4, as I don't have a PS4 right now. But that kind of stuff could be, uh, it won't just be Pokemon on this channel, it will be from what I know, Outlast and like, Assassin's Creed and stuff, so it means it's more than just this, it's not more, it's more than just aimed at Pokemon and stuff, and it's aimed at, like, stuff all around, so let us know what you think about that in the comments below, and after that, and then we'll end up, in, we'll end up in our social news to them as soon as, kind of thing. I've been meaning to actually do this, a video on this, but can't seem to get it to work on my computer. So, okay, so. There we go. Look how silent it is from my guy speaking and nothing else does happen. Does happen? Does happen? Right, okay. <laughs> I am tired today. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so now we've just agreed to be his partner in crime. He wants, to, he wants me to give him a nickname, really? Out of everything you want a nickname. How about Axe? That's, that's the only thing I can think of. Oh. Yeah. I can't think of any other name that won't be on a, another fit to be honest. I think this is another YouTuber's name for him anyway. I don't know. I think it's John Carl Propaganda. I can't even see his name. John Parry Mango 11, I don't know. 
But he's a pretty good YouTuber as well. Him, Pokey Cinema, Munching Orange, and Shofu. They're the three really good three. Look, how many people I said there, they're, they're pretty good for Pokemon stuff. They're mainly Pokemon stuff as well. Those of you who's actually watching them already is pretty high because I think they've got a good couple hundred thousand subscribers. I'm right in saying that. I don't know. So that's kind of that's just the introduction to this right now. Let's just hope that's the disc. I'm just hoping this is going to be the kind of opening to it. The picture. Okay, so what's this say here? Discover Magnegate has been unlocked and access the feature. Okay. Uh, yeah, well. Well, thanks for watching. There will be more parts coming up, hopefully, every day. That's what I'm hoping, that's what I'm aiming for. But I'll end it here.